Tens of thousands of hectares of burnt forest, at least 64 people killed and 250 injured. The deadliest wildfires in Portugal's history in the central municipalities of Pedrago Grande and Goix have been put out. Now begins the job of assessing the damage while looking into the cause of the fire. Hundreds of firemen remain on standby to ensure the blaze doesn't pick up again. Spain, France and Italy have also sent back up. It took five days to bring the flames under control because of high temperatures, bone-dry woodland, strong winds and the area's rugged terrain. Several investigations have been opened to assess the response to the disaster. Many people died on a country road as they tried to flee in their cars but were trapped by the flames. The Portuguese weather agency said the fire spread so quickly because exceptional weather conditions created a downburst, a strong wind blowing downwards that sprays embers all around. Phone communications were also cut off in the blaze, considerably complicating rescue and firefighting efforts. The government has promised a national fund to help the victims, and fundraisers are being set up to thank firefighters for their tireless work.